What is Project 91? Well, this the way that this car is built, uh, the way this car is designed, um, you know, I, I believe that it has much, there's much more required f- from a proprietary driving style standpoint to go fast as the old car. Like one thing I always struggled in is on the ovals as a road racer is I just was never really getting comfortable in driving the car and yaw. It's like anytime the car would yaw out an oval, I would steer into it. So you look at, you know, when I was sharing the 42 car Larson Xfinity, his steering trace was, was very, very much like this drive in yaws out, holds it there, gas on. Right. And mine was like, was like this because it would yaw and I'd catch it, catch it. And I could right. And so, but that's comes from like a road racing mindset. Well, you don't drive that car, this car like that anymore. So I, I believed that now the, um, what's required to make this car go fast. If you're a world-class talent and you're dedicated to learn about it and you prepare for it, that you can, you can do well. I mean, you know how hard it's been for road racers to come into the yep. old style NASCAR on a road course and, you know, and be able to go fast. Cause it required a very specific type of type of driving. Uh, so with that being said, I was like, now the, the window is open for us to really attract world-class, um, notoriety, globally relevant, you know, um, talent to the sport and be able to put a good effort where they feel like they can compete because nascar is like the rest of the world looks at nascar like we look at v8 supercars and like we look at like some of these competitions in parts of the world go like that looks really cool that's unique that's different like how cool would it be to go race a supercar around bathurst like there's you know i mean it's very unique and nascar is this quintessential american thing on these ovals it doesn't exist anywhere else so that moves the needle for people like you know daniel like ricardo and and some of these guys like they want to come do this thing they want to they want to try it but but it with the old car it just was was too difficult so project 91 is about building a division in the company that is set up to be the landing spot in NASCAR for people of that stature that want to come try it. And so um, what I did is I went to, like I bust into their offices three days a week with ideas and and a lot of them, they're like, you have to stop. You have to just put that <laughs> on the shelf because like, we only have limited bandwidth and people and all that. But this was something I really wanted to do. So I worked with them and said, look, I'm, I'm it's going to be one race. Um, work with me on this. One race. One race this year, one yeah. race. Only Watkins Glen. But I mean, eventually I would like for it to be able to be sort of a standalone team. We've got dedicated full-time people. We run all the road courses. Mm -hmm. Um, But I wasn't going to launch it without having that first driver to instantly give it sort of relevance globally, internationally. So... um, so a friend of mine that's, that is, um, you know, and I wanted it, I wanted the branding of it to be aggressive, to be gritty, to be kind of really like a brand offshoot of track house, something that we could do really cool merch and content around and, and just have it, um, be very culturally relevant. Um, so, uh, so a friend of mine, uh, PJ Rashidi, who worked for NASCAR, worked for Alpine Star, has been around for a long time. You know, he was, he helped to facilitate when Kimi came in 2011 and ran those races for KBM. And I called him and said, where do you think Kimi's at these days? Because you know, we knew he was retiring. Where do you think he's at these days on on you know racing after his Formula One career? Because I've got this idea for this project, this third car. Uh, he said, "Well, let me let me ping him on it and see." And and he had some interest in it. So um, I flew to Zurich to Switzerland to to see him and and was you like, "You flew there just to see him?" I flew there to sit with him for forty five minutes and flew God, home. <laughs> I knew. It. Um, <laughs> and uh, and then I um, you know I said this is this is sort of this is track house. Like, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to change. We're trying to be, you know, young and, and different and build a brand and do all these kind of little things. Here's like sort of long term plan for it. And, um, and I want to do this race. And I was telling him about the car and all this kind of stuff. And, and originally I wanted him to do, um, Coda road America and Watkins Glen. Yep. Um, but he was very committed to his, is very committed to his retirement and he's traveling the world with his family and he's playing hockey with his boy and he's, you know, doing all this, motocross and all this stuff and and um and so i said well just think about it like you know i'm here this is sort of what the economics of it look like uh, i think it could be really really great we could put a great effort together and he said okay well, i'll think about it we'll be in touch i flew home he's like I'll, I'll start watching the races i flew home and we went to coda and um <laughs> <laughs> what time and I, yeah and i think that i think that um he was like excited <laughs> about coming and being part of this winning organization and and all this stuff so um so we ended up it ended up having to be one you know one event uh come in town for one trip not two and and um so anyway it's going to be great i think he's look i mean 
one of the best to ever do it. And um, you know, he's going to get he's going to get time in the sim. He's going to get pit stop time. He's going to get to shake down the Action Express car, I think, for a couple laps just to feel it. And and I think he'll be prepared and ready. We'll put a great effort behind him. And the idea is, Project Ninety One can be this sort of part time team where the stars of motorsports globally can come try NASCAR. And we're set up for their lack of experience, their enthusiasm, and all that, and be tailored to them so they get really, really great efforts and they have a chance to win. Who are you, who are you talking to besides? Can I mean, um, I am I have no more, there's no more out, there has been no more outbound communication okay. because I'm just focused on Kimi, but there's been a lot of inbound. In, in, inbound. And, and I, who I are don't... some of those names? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, I these yeah. are guys that are just interested in driving, right? They're, that's all we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, some IndyCar guys okay. and, and some sports car guys. I mean, I think, you know, for— Nash, any, any, um, any guys overseas? Uh, there's been some noise, but my phone hasn't rung gotcha. necessarily guys overseas. I mean, there's some guys that I want. I mean, to, to wrap that up, like, you know, Project 91, when I think of who the ideal candidates are, like, I'm going all the way to the top. You know, like, I, I, don't, I, I don't think Project 91 exists because— I. You know, without without trying to have conversations with guys like Lewis Hamilton and Valentino Rossi and Daniel Ricciardo yeah. and you know all these guys. I had a dr- I had a vis- I had a dream that of that of, or a wish, I guess, or hope that one day that Michael Schumacher would race yeah. NASCAR, and it you know obviously um, you know won't happen. But I always wished yeah. that because I admired him and thought he was the greatest driver ever. And I wanted him so badly to know what it was mm-hmm. like to drive a stock car. Yeah. Well, and I think we can be that for yeah. for whoever else for I think you know, the others. Insane. Yeah. Um, so there, so yeah. nobody should draw any core any connection between Don Halt announcing <laughs> that Helio is going to drive in a Cup car if he wins the race. He wins the race, and now you're going to drive an X. I didn't know about that until now you're Helio gave like his interview yeah. on on SRX. Yeah, but you're but you're, but, but, you're but Helio conveniently fits the, now going to race but, in that series. Yeah, this weekend. I mean, well, Don has been talking. We've been I've been talking to Hawk about that for a while. And okay. I was like, I don't know if I qualify for that superstar racing experience but i think that he liked the kind of the juxtaposition of like owner an owner in there and yeah 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 that, but oh, yeah yeah but um, i just it's not anything but just well but timing yeah helio, <laughs> helio is uh helio is definitely fits the mold of of a project 91 i think it'd be awesome i think the daytona 500 is a difficult is a pretty tall that's ask. a difficult race for y'all to- yeah it's a that's a tall ask yeah. for for project 91 at this stage um but nothing's impossible. Yeah. If you like that conversation, you need to listen to the entire podcast. The Dale Jr. Download is available on all major podcast platforms.